The Centre for Plastic Electronics at Imperial College London looks at developing new materials for applications that span displays and lighting, electronics, communications, energy and healthcare. The centre draws together 28 academic staff from across the departments of physics, chemistry, materials and chemical engineering. In addition, at any one time, we have over 100 PhD students and 40 to 50 postdocs and visitors. I work on new materials for solar cells. At the moment I'm focusing on plastic electronic materials made from uh, organic semiconductors. And the type of research that we do in my group in physics, it includes both theoretical work, where we try to understand why a particular molecule behaves the way it does, and we also do experimental research where we measure the things about those materials that are important for solar energy conversion, like how well they absorb light, how well they transport electricity, and when you put everything together into a, a device, how well it converts light into electricity. There's a lot of fluidity and dialogue between the different disciplines, and, and that's, I mean, it's good for me, but it's even better for my students, because they have this huge community of kind of experts who are also their peers that they can talk to and so solve problems together. For my group we have various interesting projects um, related to the transport of charges through monolayers of dye molecules. We've got um, projects trying to understand the behaviour and the stability of perovskite materials and I think one of the attractions is that we have activities ranging from fundamental ab initio simulations going right through to quite practical things like device making or measurement. And we try and combine those, those lines of inquiry so that you get a very complete understanding of a system within a project. And so students have this option to be quite general, to do, be doing both simulation and measurement activities, or they can focus more if that's what they're more interested in. Our affiliates programme is something we set up around three years ago in order to interact with industry primarily and we wanted to make sure we had some sort of commercial relevance. In addition to that we wanted to try to springboard some uh, projects and collaboration with industry and if we think about this in terms of a value chain for example we have the chemical industry that will be supplying materials upstream to the printing industry who may be supplying modules to electronic manufacturing company so we're, we've got three or four different distinct application sectors so we try and interact with all these sectors in different ways and that's where the sort of interdisciplinarity of our activities come into play. We have lots of, of opportunity for students to present their work to industry, get some feedback on how that's going and if there is any particular area of interest then there's opportunities for secondments with one of our industrial affiliates or industrial partners. One of the benefits that our students have when they come to the Centre for Plastic Electronics at Imperial College is that they are part of a cohort of students being trained through our interdisciplinary doctoral training centre. And so we are able to accommodate students with backgrounds in engineering, physics, chemistry and materials. And we bring them all together and they learn from each other. They are uh, taught different aspects of the science and technology of plastic electronic materials and devices and they can bring their own skills from their undergraduate or master's degree qualifications, but they then have a much broader education. We really try to prepare the students that they need this multidisciplinary knowledge. In addition, we have soft skills training, so we give them ethics training. They go uh, to some uh, UK companies for project management courses intellectual property here at the business school, so it's not only the science they, they get courses on, but really also some of the other skills they need to have uh, independent if they go afterwards to academia or industry. Imperial College is probably one of the best science and technology universities in the world, and especially for plastic electronics, you have a lot of top academics working in all aspects of the field. So I really think if you're interested in that, area, the area of plastic electronics, then Imperial has to be one of your top choices. My research projects here at Imperial, working with Professor John Tomello and Dr Martin Heaney, 
is focused on developing flow synthesis techniques for producing semiconducting polymers. What this involves is developing a mix of reactor hardware to be able to synthesise these materials as well as developing chemical processes to improve the quality. With the skills we've learned in the Centre for Doctoral Training, professional skills as well as the lab skills which I've learned, I think are really useful to any fine chemicals manufacturer. In terms of career prospects and uh, things like that, I've already managed to secure an industrial fellowship based on this research, so I can consider this a successful research project. We're all excited within the Centre for Plastic Electronics by the opportunities that we have to define and develop a new future for applications based on this very exciting class of materials.